so Marshall, I understand you had a direct connection to coverage of Miracle on the Hudson back in the day. Well, it turns out that I was probably the first, if not the very first reporter to be on the scene, and it all happened quite by accident. You see, I had gone to Brooklyn to cover the State of the City speech offered by then Mayor Michael Bloomberg, and we were on the way back on the west side, and suddenly I started seeing emergency vehicles suddenly, you know, rushing past me on the highway to get to uh, the piers over on the west side. And so I said to my cameraman, I don't know what this is, but we should go. And his, he's going and getting a position really right there. I call the desk and I say, you know, there's some really weird emergency thing. Everybody's converging here. They say, we think there's a plane that's down. I got, I, and I got out of the car and I said, come on, it was Dan Barlusi. I said, come on, Dan, we're going. And in order to get there, because well, we couldn't park where the emergency vehicles were, I had to climb over barricades and all kinds of things. I was wearing heels and long pants, and I can tell you that my pants were shredded by the end of the day. But we got there just as they were bringing the first people into um, the ferry landing that had been rescued. And some of them were being brought in on stretchers, some were wet, and some they were throwing blankets over them. And I got some of the first interviews with people who came right off the plane. You know, one man I spoke to said, you know, we heard a boom, and then they said we we're gonna go to uh, Newark Airport, and then he said, the pilot said, we're going down, and they went down into the water. And Now you, know, you could see the plane out in the Hudson River. I could River. see the plane, you know, slowly drifting um, down, the, um, down, the, down the Hudson, and at one point you could see, there were so many emergency vehicles, so many uh, ferry boats, and um, emergency vehicles uh, that converged that it sort of they they were around it so it was hard to see but at one point you could see um, a wing and you could see the tail that the you know the boats were converging so that they could get people off the plane because as you recall some of the people walked out onto the wings in order to get landed to get rescued from by the boats so you know it was it was amazing because we saw people being brought in on all manner of craft. You know, it was amazing. And, you know, I was able to interview people until the police realized that I was a reporter with a camera and they, you know, said that we had to leave. What was your thought about the fact that none of their, none of these people took severe injuries and there were no casualties in a plane going down in New York City? Well, you know, they called it the miracle on the Hudson. It was really the miracle on the Hudson. But what's interesting to me is that even though people had landed in the water, some of them, and there were a couple who jumped in and had, you know, got completely wet, and were, it was a bitter, bitterly cold day, and were in danger of hypothermia, everybody had such positive things to say about how it was handled, you know, that the captain was calm, he, you know, he, you know, said we've, you know, they, they was, it was a goose strike, and so they heard the kaboom, they heard the, the noise, but at first they thought, well, we're okay because, you know, we're going to land the pilot, so we're going to land in, at Newark Airport, and so the surprise to them was when he said we're going down. <laughs> I mean, it's nothing to laugh about, but it, you know, they felt that it was all handled um, professionally, calmly. They were prepared, the crew prepared them, and then the minute they landed they got them off the plane as fast as they could. So it was quite, a, it was truly a miracle on the Hudson. Thanks very much, Marshall.